Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, welcome to my bedroom, you guys. Um, I've been led to just do a reading in here tonight. It's really cozy. It's a it's a rainy night outside, you guys. And this is just kind of a, the perfect spot for tonight. So I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoy the view of my bedroom. <laughs> um, anyway, I want to take a deeper look into the one that's on your mind, your person, and how they're really feeling about you right now. Okay, current energy. Anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for everything, all of your support. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for just being with me. This time of night, it's so cool um, to just chill with you and uh, give you your reading, you know? I love it. All right, so, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective, the one that's on their mind, how they're really feeling right now? guilty guilty so this person they know what they did to you okay i feel like they hurt you pretty bad whatever was done was bad okay um and yeah the guilt is really wearing on this person they're feeling very confused like they don't know what to do they don't know how you feel about them this person I, i'm getting that they're in a mental prison okay this could be someone who's in jail right now but I'm really picking up on the fact that they can't get out of their head about you, okay? Um, they know they need to come back in and do the right thing. Apologize. This person is carrying this guilt around with them every day of what they did. And that's part of their karma, you know, is living with that. Um, and I feel like they know they need to apologize to you, but they don't really, like, if they come towards you now they have to they have to come towards you like with their tail tucked between their legs you know um this person hurt you and they they're gonna have to say i'm sorry for hurting you i'm sorry for betraying you you know they're gonna have to look you in the eye now and face you and take accountability for what they did and this person just doesn't know how to approach you but they can't get you out of their mind that's for sure you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Possibly Gemini. I feel like this person is really angry at whoever they chose over you. I'm picking up now on a third party. Okay, this third party person here. Um, they're angry, jealous, bitter. I feel like they know about you and they've been making this person pay. I feel like they just, they make them miserable. And I feel like they do it on purpose. Okay, because they're jealous. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of this connection. They know this person's been moping around, not acting themselves because they're thinking about you. They're very stuck in their mind about you. Um, they could feel trapped and stuck with a karmic too as well because um, it feels like they, I don't know, maybe they have a lot of responsibilities or financial burdens and they feel like they can't break free. This karmic absolutely hates you, okay? She's a very vengeful person. It says hostile, vengeful, spiteful. And I feel like maybe she's threatened to do some some harmful thing to you or something like that she's threatened right um i don't know to confront you i'm getting the sense that this person has been protecting you and maybe that's why they feel so stuck you know they don't want this karmic anywhere near you so they really don't know what to do they don't know how to get out of it because as soon as this person breaks free from the karmic she's going to be coming towards you so I feel like this person, yeah, that's their longing to free themselves. Look at longing to be free from that karmic situation. I'm getting the sense that this karmic is so radically hateful of you, okay? Um, that this person is is there to protect you. They're they're trying to um, keep the karmic calm, okay? But they are feeling desperate. 
I'm getting that they know that you're about to get new love. You're being approached by new people, or you will soon. And this person really doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to lose you to someone else. They're feeling desperate to hang on to this connection. But it has gotten out of control. Because the longer they're there, the farther away you get. And they, the more stuck they get with this karmic. Okay? This person is in so much regret. They're doing a lot of crying. This is somebody who wants to be in hermit energy. They don't even want to deal with this karmic. Literally, the only reason they're there is because they're protecting you. They're keeping the karmic away from you. So the really, the only thing that stands between, um, between like stands in the way of this person coming towards you, the only thing that stands between this connection, I feel, is this karmic. This person really doesn't know what to do because um, they don't want anything coming towards you. They see you doing really well, and I feel like this person, they want you to do well. This is somebody who's proud of you. They're proud of your accomplishments. They've been watching you, Collective. I feel like you know that. Yeah, look at how sad they are. Um, they want you to keep succeeding. They want you to keep having this progress. They want you to keep becoming abundant. They are really proud of everything that you've accomplished. So that's another reason why they want to keep the karmic calm and away from you, is so you can keep succeeding. They don't want you to have any drama at all in your life with this karmic. So this is truly someone who's protecting you, okay? Um, they're feeling very incomplete, though. They, they hate where they are. They absolutely can't stand being where they are. It feels like it feels like a mental prison, a spiritual prison, a physical prison. And this karmic knows it. They know that, uh, she knows that this masculine is heartbroken. She doesn't care. She just doesn't want this masculine to go to you, okay? Yeah. Give me one more. How is this person feeling? So they're watching you slip away, okay? This person, really, they are longing for you. They're longing for you. They're in a lot of regret, remorseful, very sorry for this whole entire mess, okay? They're so sorry. Uh, yeah, this person can't sleep at night with comfort coming out in, uh, in reverse. They're unable to sleep. They're having nightmares. They feel very vulnerable, especially at night. It's like they don't know if you're with someone else or not. They can't stop thinking about you. This person is in like the worst situation of their life, okay? And they feel like they, if they break free, this karmic is coming right after you, okay? And they do not want that to happen. This feels like a tower moment here. Uh, it's almost like they just, they're losing their wish. They're losing their destiny. This person knows it. They're feeling desperate. This desperation to hold on to your, um, your energy, this connection. Yeah, but you're leaving them behind. Oh, yeah. And I feel like this person cries a lot at night. They may have panic attacks as well. They're definitely not getting a lot of rest at night. They're not If they're sleeping at all, they're having nightmares. Okay, because you're leaving them behind like a ponytail in the wind here. It says encouraged, but just look at the pictures, okay? And I feel like you've been in stagnancy, no communication, no contact for a long time. During that time, you've learned your lessons. You learned how to ride this bike. Okay, now you're ready to take those training wheels off and just soar into your future. So you're moving on. You're leaving them behind. Um, and they can't stand it. 
I'm, I'm getting that this person has some crazy nightmares about you at night. And I feel like it's always about you leaving them behind or possibly being with someone new. Okay, it's driving this person crazy at night. And they're absolutely exhausted. Um, this person could be even getting some health issues as well. I don't like that they've lost a lot of weight. Okay. So maybe they're having a hard time keeping food down or they just don't have an appetite. You know, they're, they're depressed and stressed out. This person is stressed out bad. Um, so yeah, they could have recently lost a lot of weight. They could be having some stomach issues or just not wanting to eat. You know, this person feels bad. They feel guilty, uh, guilty, unfulfilled. They can't stand where they are. Um, they're doing a lot of crying. This person is in a lot of regret, feeling that desperation, wanting to break free. But if they do, they know that, um, you know, this person doesn't want to put you in any kind of danger, drama, or trouble, okay? They're trying to protect you. Oh, they're in a stuck mess right now. Um, and this is current energy, you guys. Okay, all right, so what do they want to say? Ooh, this is a lot. Will this ever change? Yeah, see, they do. They feel stuck. Look, they feel stuck and stuck in their head about you, okay? Um, they feel desperate, holding on to your energy, but yet wanting to break free from this karmic situation, desperate for both, longing for you. Yeah, will this ever change? My life is a mess right now. Don't wait for me, please. See, that's what this is. It's like they don't want they don't want to lose you, but at the same time, they don't want you to wait for them. They want you to be able to keep succeeding. They want you to be able to um you know, keep becoming uh, abundant and just keep moving because they are very proud of what you've accomplished, okay? Um, they don't want anything messing up your life right now, especially this crazy karmic. Yeah, I wish I could be a different person. Why do I feel this way? It's because they're keeping themselves stuck. I can't make you happy, but these feelings are eating me alive. Yes, the way I have treated you was wrong. That's that guilt. And it's not just the guilt that's bothering them. It's like they realize they realize they forfeited a beautiful destiny with you you're the one that they want and they can't stop thinking about you oh this person is in like really their life is is literally a mess right now my life is a mess right now that it's true it's probably the worst they've ever had it and their, their feelings for you are eating them alive, okay, because they want to come to you so bad, but they know if they do, they're just putting you in a drama. Ooh, anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this quick check-in, um, how your person's feeling about you right now. Um, I, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. Thank you for spending time with me here in this location tonight, you guys. It's just very chill and relaxed, you know. It's perfect for tonight. But um, anyway, until next time, everyone. Take care of you and peace out.